It was very interesting. I saw it approaching and I was like, well, that's gonna happen. sandwich in there so what would you like to know about powered parabody what is this that you just mounted on one of your wheels that is a 360 camera pointing back at me it's not very flattering because i sit here with my legs wide open and uh, that's basically the shot that you get so it's mostly for for stuff that's that direction how do you pre-flight pre-flight for a paramotor is is interesting there's some standard stuff we're gonna feel along the prop, make sure that you know, there's nothing, no significant nicks, nothing like that, that it spins freely, that the leading edge is clean. We'll check the coolant, check the oil, so that's good. And beyond that, you basically wiggle stuff and make sure nothing's loose. Seats there, your seat belt, seat, these tires, clamps, things. Check the reserve, make sure that it's nice and tight. One of the most important parts of free flight is you check the throttle. So I actually look here, yeah. make sure it's moving, yeah. and make sure that it goes all the way back to the zero position. If it sticks, then on engine start, the quad could take off, yeah. which happened at Blackhawk the day after we left. Dude, his quad's just going in a circle at full power, wow. and he's being dragged by it. Wow. And then finally he, he gets thrown off it, because he's trying to stop it. He gets thrown off of it, it rockets across the field, vaults over a picnic bench and then just hits some stuff and basically explodes. Didn't hit anybody. There were RVs and people and stuff and just the direction that it went was the one direction that it could have gone to hit something, uh, but it just... <laughs> Hi, Ray. Lisa. Hi, it's nice to meet you guys. Hey, I'm Adrian. Hey, how you doing? Good. This is my dad, Jim. Nice to meet you, Ray. Nice to meet you. We're just waiting for the winds to die a little bit and filming stuff for YouTube. This is his first time seeing me set everything up and stuff, so I'm explaining everything. He's a former flight instructor. Okay. So has, he you, has he seen you fly? He has only seen videos only of me videos. flying. Only videos, yeah. Never seen me fly right. in person. Yeah, that's cool. So we get to see you fly, too. Strapped to your back, it looks like, right? Yeah, yeah, I got a full launch thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. Makes me thinking about doing ultra lights again. Just watching that is just like way cool. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice pass. That was great. That was really great.
You are cleared to land, sir. Please push your three cables and seat back to the upright position. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <sighs> How is the air up there? Uh, smooth, beautiful. A little bit nippy, but couldn't ask for better air. You guys looked great up there. <laughs> Thank you. It was a crater. You should go film it. It was a crater. Uh, it was very interesting. I saw it approaching and I was like, well, <laughs> that's going to happen. So I did the only thing that made sense, which was I increased power, which gave me lift. And I, I tapped it, but I didn't go into it. I just uh -huh. went over it and I leaned to the side. I did. It was instantaneous. I was like, Woo! awesome. Ugh. What did you think? Oh yeah, it was awesome. Just watching it, hearing it, flew, you flew right over my head. That was super cool. Just like right up there, like 10 feet above me. That's a nice, nice, uh, nice quad there. Thanks. Wow, oh, that's a proper crater. It is. <laughs>